Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I'm wearing black and it's kind of a juxtaposition for this video because we are doing another Build-A Palette and this one is going to be a bright, bold, colorful one that's summer inspired so it's kind of like, well, you're giving us a vamp, but listen, okay, I have to mix it up for you guys. I can't, I have to keep you on your toes. You can't just guess what I'm about to do. No. So as if the title isn't telling you that. But anyway, that is not the point, okay? That's neither here nor there. I haven't done a build a palette video in a while because honestly, I haven't been motivated. I haven't been inspired. None of these color stories that are being released really like got my creative juices flowing juices okay no but anyway the weather is warming up I am feeling more motivated to play in eyeshadow and play in makeup and Natasha Denono released a colorful palette and her brand is one of the first like high-end pricey luxury brands to release a color story that is this bold this bright and this colorful and I am here for it. She almost got me like a, if I was going to get a Natasha Denona palette, this would probably be the one that I would get because it's so fun. And I know she's done like a tropical palette before and that was cute. That was all right. But I don't think it's as inspired as this palette. And I know not a lot of people are into these kinds of color stories. They're like, it's too much, but it is perfect for me. And I had to go ahead and replicate it. I'm not even putting too much of my own spin on it. I literally want to pull singles from my collection to recreate the color story because I think it is so beautiful. Now, I don't even know how it turned out. So you guys are going to have to let me know. But I am thinking bold purples and oranges and there are a couple of blues mixed in. I'm just going to have fun with it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to build our palette using the Natasha Denona Circle Loco Palette as our inspiration. And we'll see what we come up with. And if you want to see looks from the palette, then give this video a thumbs up so I can know to go ahead and create a video with multiple looks using this palette. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's start out by looking at the inspiration behind this Build-A Palette, which is the Natasha Denono Circo Loco Palette. Is it just me or that name kind of rubs me the wrong way? It feels, honestly, a little bit like cultural appropriation because Natasha Denona is not Hispanic or Latinx so I don't know but anyway here's the palette and I was actually laughing at this because if Natasha Denona had not come out her face sideways at me I could see me buying like tons of her palettes and reviewing them because I do think she makes beautiful color stories I'm always interested and intrigued by them and this one is no different. It would have been one that I would definitely pick up, like no hesitation because it is so colorful and bold. And I think Natasha Denona is one of the only luxury high-end brands that steps out of the comfort zone of neutrals and does color and a lot of interesting textures. And this palette is beautiful. I can't even take that from her. So here's the palette. We see oranges, some teals, we have a couple of purples, a couple of green tealy shades, a couple of blues, and some more silvery tones as well as some pinks. And it's, it's very pretty. And looking at the swatches, you can see that bright fuchsia pink, the couple of purples that we spoke about, those orangey tones, that light, light aqua blue, bright orange, the teals, and that light pink. And I don't think, like I said in the introduction, that I'm going to do too much with adding my own spin on this because I think, honestly, this is beautiful. The only shade that I'm not so thrilled about is the yellow gold because I'm just, I'm just over it. Look at this look. Oh my god, this is one of the promo images and I want to recreate this look. I think I'm definitely, you know what? I'm definitely going to recreate this look from the palette that we create. So hopefully I do a good job at that. And here are swatches from Temptalia. So I will leave her Instagram as well as her blog down below. She does beautiful swatches that are very true to color. I can trust when she swatches something or when she does a review that she's telling the truth. So here are all the swatches. Swatched out, it doesn't look as interesting as it does in the palette form. 
And that is actually something you'll find that you'll see a palette that looks so gorgeous But then you, when you swatch it, you're like, oh, okay, it doesn't look that fun So we see the couple of blue teals the purple the pink I think the most like interesting or different shades are snow cone and Aerialist, which are more duochrome shades and I'll see if I can replicate that Grin is the one that I'm not that thrilled about so here are the shadows laid out and again really beautiful when they're laid out like that, but then when they're swatched, it's not as fun, right? Here's another look. Oh my God. So I'm looking at how the shadows apply to kind of figure out like what shadows I want to use. All right, so let's just look quickly at the shade description so we can get an idea as well. So Firework is a vibrant orange. We have Razzle Dazzle, which is a vibrant fuchsia. We have a cobalt blue matte, a frosty sky blue, a icy pastel pink. Snow cone doesn't seem like a frosty sky blue to me, but okay. Then we have a royal blue, a vintage gold, which is the one I'm not interested in, the vibrant bronze, electric medium teal, a aqua pastel blue, stunning, metallic orange, which I can't wait to pull out an orange that fits that, a vibrant purple blue, and we have a frosty pastel lavender. That's the other special shade that I was talking about, Aerialist. And then we have Act, which is a deep vibrant violet, and Joker, which is a vibrant pink. So shall we get right into it? I think we should, and I'm going to use Temptalia's photo for my little guide here. I don't know how much I'm gonna include as far as the shades that I'm picking because it could just be a really long video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of the shadows that I think fits this theme. All right, so going by the swatches, I wanna start out with the orange because I kind of feel like I know which orange I want. So from Sydney Grace, I have this bold, bright orange, like, come on, that's spot on. I mean, actually, it's even better. It looks much brighter, so that's my orange. We can stop now, shimmery orange, done. And just let me quickly look if there's anything else in this palette. No, the matte orange is a little brighter. Then we have purples, and there are a couple of purples from Sydney Grace that may fit. We have this bright shimmery pink that I feel like this might be, oh yeah, oh yeah, that might be it. So I'm gonna grab that as well. Let me check out a couple more shades, this light pink. It's a potential, and then I wanna find a shade for Snow Cone and Aerialist. This might be close. Oh my god, maybe, maybe I'm gonna pull that out. And then this shimmery bright purple. Yep, I'm thinking that that's gonna work. No matte purples in this palette. Let's look for a bronze. So the bronze in here is more of a coppery bronze. I don't know that I have any, no. There are no cup, yeah, no. This one is not gonna work. Let's take a look at my Lethal Cosmetics shades. Hmm, for the light blue, let's see if their light blue works. I mean, it's an icy light blue, but it's not really that interesting. How about their matte purple? No, the shimmery purple though is pretty compared. Okay, we can, we can use that, we can try. And then the the gold shade it is such a true it's such a true yellow gold I don't know if I have any shade like that because I don't like that kind of shade let me try their light blue that is not blue enough how about their pink okay let's see the pink shade um I feel like the Sydney Grace one is closer right yeah, I'm gonna leave the Sydney Grace alone. All right, move on. But they do have some teals here, so let's see if we can find a teal. Is that, mm, that's close. How about this deep, that, ooh, that's close too, but that one is a matte. Hmm, I kinda like it though. I'm gonna take it out anyway. Let's take that one out. And then this one isn't green enough, but I'll still take it out. All right. Move on. 
Here we have my JD Glow shadows. Well, some of them. Let's see. I think... Oh, let me check this bright orange. Because I feel like that is as stunning as the Sydney Grace. The Sydney Grace one just fits, though, because she did this orange look. I feel like the Sydney Grace one is better. And then we have the teal. Let me see this blue. That blue is so pretty. But it's too bright. I feel like the Natasha blue is deeper. But I like that blue though. Okay, just 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 in case. And then the shimmery light blue. Let's try this out. No, that's not. This one is like a silvery shade. I don't think this is going to work either because it's too sparkly. It's close though. It's a little bit close. Alright, let me take that one out then. And is this teal deep enough? No, it's not. Do we have a pink? Nope, moving on. In this palette, I have Cleona singles, some of their highlighters. Oh my god. So, whoo! I feel like, ooh, wait, maybe this gold can work? What do you think? I think that gold is gonna be my gold because I don't like how yellow that one is. I think that one is a little bit better. And then for, ooh, look at that, but that's not, no, it's not teal enough. Let me try this light shade. Is that like the snow cone? No, let's try the silver. It's too silver. I think snow cone is gonna be a hard shade for me to get because it's a silver with like purple duochrome to it and a little bit of blue and pink. So yeah, it's hard to, to match that up. Yeah, maybe um, some of my Cleona duochromes might do, but none of these. How about the bronzy tone? The cannon. I need it to be more orange, I think. So, all right, let's move on. Ooh, Adept Cosmetics. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, yes, that is so pretty. Does that go? No. Well, kind of, but not really. Let me try this one instead. That one looks closer to this. Hmm. This looks so much deeper than it's translating in the swatches though. Let me look at the other swatches. In these swatches, it looks like a rich copper. Hmm, that's difficult. Adept does have a bright pink though. Let me try that one out. A matte pink. Ooh, it needs to be deeper. And then their orange. Their orange may be spot on for this matte orange. Yep, that may be it. I don't think their light blue is light enough though. No, that's not light enough, but all right, moving on. Wait, 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 I just saw a silvery tone that might, might work. Hold on, hold on, maybe. Is it like a lavender? It looks lavenderish. Hmm, no, that's my other shade. I'm talking about this light, this light blue one, this silvery looking one. No, it needs more blue to it. All right, moving on. All right, let's see here. Oh, I wanted to take this purple out of my Pat McGrath setup because I think, oh, because I think that purple looks amazing. And I don't think any of these other shades would work. Hmm, are there any shades that, well, let's look at this gold. That gold might, well, it looks very similar to this gold. Yeah, I don't need both of those. I can keep that one. All right. Well, I'm thinking about it. I want to put it in here and just see. All right, let's go. Ooh, these are some blues and teals. Let's see if we can get a teal out of here. Um, It's a very rich green, but in Tantalia swatches, it looks... Mm, it looks very, ooh, 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 because in this photo, right, it looks deep, 
and then in these swatches it looks deep as well so I'm gonna go with this try to replicate that instead um what what am I no this bright let's try that blue though because we have the purple I think but we need a blue but it's a deep sea blue oh we have a light blue hair that I didn't swatch would this be could this be our blue it might be well it might be I'm gonna grab it I don't know why this teal is gonna be so hard for me because I thought I love teals oh this is this is close this is close and then the matte deep teal I think this is gonna be too dark it's a blackened teal shade I don't have many blackened teals Mm -mm, I don't oh you know what I know exactly where I have something like that it's in my makeup forever shade so I'm gonna come back to that so next up we oh yes Terra moon so these are some new shades that I picked up I haven't dug into these I don't know what's going on but I feel like we found our blue we found the blue well yeah that's our blue I think yep I'm using that blue I don't care then we need a light light blue and um, it's oh man it needs to be a little bit more on the aqua side let's try this one that is too green that's too aqua I'm gonna take the light blue though maybe and then we need that matte deep teal but this is too blue well yeah it's too blue that one is too true blue and we need a shimmery bold pink the, ooh is that too is that too bright I feel like that is way too bright but I'm gonna take it out anyway why not and what else do we need here let's see if there are any other shades that look similar to what we need the matte deep pink do you think this can work yeah that may be our matte deep pink boom oh yeah you know what I didn't look at yet the matte purple so we need a matte purple and a matte deep teal there are none here so let me move on even though wait wait let me look if there's a teal shade or a green shade that we can work into no yeah I think yeah we can move on from this how about this here mm -mm -mm. that light ooh is this a ooh no that's chunky I don't like that oh let me try this look at, ooh this is a duochrome or a multi-chrome no that's too much um I don't think anything is here for us wait like the silvery shade let me try Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that's pretty. But that doesn't go anywhere. No, it does not. Okay, moving on. ColourPop has some bold oranges, but I feel like we've already accomplished what, what we needed to. Here's their pink. Their deep pink. Is that like a closer matte? Well, I'll take it out just in case. And then the matte orange. I'll also take it out just in case it might work too all right so right now we're still looking for the matte deep purple we're looking for the teal and the light aqua we're looking for a bronze and we're looking for the deep teal and those dual chrome shades all right makeup forever don't let me down now here are the blues and teals um here's the shade I thought would be perfect for this yeah see I knew it it's not a complete matte though it is more of a satin finish but I think that is gonna work perfectly and then the green let's see this is that too yeah that's not teal enough and then this is too blue I think we already found our blue but I'll swatch anyway so I think we're set on this shade here. All right, perfect. Oh, let me swatch this blue. No, that's, all right. Let's look at the silvers and light blues because we might be able to get one of those silvery shades from Makeup Forever. Mm, their iceberg shade. 
is kind of close maybe maybe just a maybe it's it is the mm, is it kind of the closest I've gotten so far um I'm gonna take it out and go from there oh I just ooh, let's look at this Ooh, maybe maybe we have found our aqua I think we might have this is from Inglot Ooh, baby, I think I love you. Yeah, that is very, very aqua, so maybe we can use that. And matte deep purple. It's a very blue-based purple, though. Okay, that's not going to work here. All right, I have some ColourPop singles here I just opened up, and I was looking at this shade here. If it would be what we're looking for for one of yeah maybe may I'm just gonna have to go as close to it as I can get and I think this is pretty close let me ooh this blue though hey nope that's not our blue next I have some more Cleona eyeshadows and also Sydney Grace hair let me try this little mm. It's close. It's it's a little close. I'm gonna grab that. And then I was looking at this bronzy tone as well. I'm gonna grab that. All right. Here are some other Makeup Forever singles that I have from the newer formulation. I think this is, yeah, this is the newer formulation with the square pens. Um, let me see. This matte, no, that's a blue. And then this icy guy, which I think is the silver, is it the same silvery shade? So I think, yeah, they're the same one. Yeah, I'll just take them out because that one's newer. And then, no, I think we're good on the blue. Let's check this matte purple. It needs to be a very dark, like, blue base purple so no all right I have some Luxie shadows here as well and I'm thinking this looks very very close to aerialist or snow cone like one of those kinds of shades so I'm gonna grab that and then I have some more adept shades here and I have some of their oh that is pretty Ooh, is that no that's I need a green I need a green green <laughs> that pretty color that blue is stunning it's not deep enough though and i wanted to test this out maybe it's or mm, maybe maybe not quite oh my god that damn shade is gonna drive me nuts all right i'm gonna dig around in my collection some more and see if i can find shades that match the ones that we're missing right now I pulled out Pastel Pop from Menagerie Cosmetics just to see how this light blue stacks up. Um, it's, I feel like the other light blues might do and then this light pink. The pink, mmm, might be our pink. So I'm gonna grab that and then I have some singles from them. And I think this, this is a, beautiful purple it's blue based and I think that might work as well it's not as purple but I feel like it would work you know what I mean so I want to use that one so I'm gonna grab this and yeah and then the teal let's see this might be a good ooh that is good all right so we're gonna grab that as well i think we might be do we have everything i think we have as close to everything as i'm gonna get and then we'll figure out the dual chromes in a little bit y'all i just found a terra moons purple that is gonna be fantastic all right so here we have the shades right and i'm gonna just put the ones that i'm picking out for the colors 
of the color story and I'm thinking this is gonna be our purple it's just spot on wait till I swatch it for you guys so that's our purple for our pink let's see it's either one of these ooh baby I love your ways that is such a good pink all right, one is more like a bright fluorescent pink. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. So I think it is, is it more like a raspberry pink? I'm feeling like it's more raspberry, so I'm going to use this pink. And then for the light pink, we have these two. So this is the menagerie one. Oh, I got hard pan. Let me pick the, ooh, pick that up. So that's the Menagerie one. And then we have the Sydney Grace one. So that's Menagerie, that's Sydney Grace. And I'm feeling like Sydney Grace is the better one because it is a very muted pink. So I'm gonna use Sydney Grace for that. For the light blue, which is fun to mine, it's one of these three. I'm leaning toward, it's very blue though, it's very, light blue like sky blue so I don't know if any of these well let's see this one this might be the one I feel like you're too close up you're not seeing it I feel like this this might be the one that we need to use for this deep teal we're gonna use that that's a given and then for the shimmery pink it's gonna be one of these two so that one sydney grace or this from terra moons i feel like the sydney grace one is deeper it's the deeper pink so we need that one for the shimmery orange i'm not even asking any questions it's gonna be sydney grace and then for the matte orange ooh, should we use this one from adepts or this one yeah the adept one is gonna win because that's more true orange for our tealy green shade this is so good i'm thinking ooh, yeah i'm thinking that's gonna be the one or this one this one looks more true to it though right this one looks more true so i should go with that one then, oh, the shimmery purple. I think, ooh, these are so pretty. Oh my God, how am I gonna choose? How am I gonna choose? It's a deep, ooh, that's so good. It's a deep, deep, deep purple. I like that one a lot. And then this lethal one is really pretty too. They look very similar, very, very similar. And then this one from Auntie Pot is a rich, deep one. I need it next to everybody. I feel, ooh, the Auntie Pat one is definitely deeper, but we need a sparkly one. What do you guys think? I think we're, mm, let's go with, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Just, I'm gonna go with that. The bronze, I think we're just gonna go with this. It's not as orange, but I like it. So I'm gonna put it there, and then for the blue, ooh, the shimmery blue. I really like this one from Terra Moons, but it's it looks too dark. So maybe this one instead, I think. Yeah, let's use that one. And then we have three. So we have the yellow gold one, which I don't wanna go as bright yellow gold, so I'm gonna go with this. And now we have the shimmery duochrome ones that I still can't figure out. All right, let's let's do let's do it, okay? So we need something with more purple and something with more blue. So the more blue ones are here and then we have the purpley ones. This one is more blue. All right, let me I feel like Aerialist is gonna be easier because it's the purple one. That is a pretty shade. Is it enough? Or should we do this one? Um, or even this one. This one is so sparkly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or this one. Hold on. Got one more. Ah, I like that one. 
that one looks more like what I'm going for, right? And then we have Snow Cone left. That's the shade in the palette that I would have liked to get my hands on because it's so pretty. But we're gonna make do with what we got because Natasha, no, 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 no. No, ma'am. That's the Makeup Forever shade, which I think is pretty close, if I'm honest. And then we have this shade that's more... I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever one. All right, we have it! Let me clean up because this is a mess. All right, let's organize them in the palette just the way they're laid out in the Natasha palette. What do you guys think? Look at it. Does it come pretty close? I think so. I want to push them closer together though. I feel like they'll look better closer together. There we go. I think I am very happy with this. I think we're pretty spot on guys what do you think oh my god so here are all my shades should we go ahead and swatch them out so for the shade firework which is a vibrant orange we have amc9 from adept cosmetics which is a matte bold orange and i think that is pretty spot on it's a gorgeous orange shade then we have the shade for razzle dazzle this is forbidden love from uh, sydney grace it is one of their most gorgeous pink shades to me like look at that right and i think that is pretty spot on it's probably not as shimmery it's more like a satin but that is so gorgeous then the shade for acrobat which is described as a cobalt blue matte is from makeup forever it's s228 petrol blue and this one is not a full-on matte it's more like a satin shade and it's a beautiful color and i think it's actually pretty spot on and it could almost pass as one of natasha denona's creamy mattes because it's not matte, but it's not a frost either. It's like a really creamy matte instead. Then we have Snow Cone, which is a frosty sky blue. That one gave me such a hard time, but I think we got it. So for that one, we're using ME202, which is iceberg blue from Makeup Forever. And it's such a stunning shade by itself, but there's just something special about the Snow Cone shade from Natasha Denona but I feel like it will give me the same look that's on this model's eye. So yeah, I think that shade actually works well. Then we have Cotton Candy, which is described as an icy pastel pink. It's a matte though, so I don't know why it's icy, but we're using, again, Sydney Grace Haven. This is such a stunning pale pink. And this one I think is pretty spot on as well. It's a muted pastel pink. You see in the swatches, it looks like it's packed on, but it's really a muted pink in the look that they did with it. So I think that pink is gonna work out great. Then we have Electric, which is royal blue. And for that one, we have JD Glow Rendezvous. This one may be slightly off. It's a little bit more vibrant than the one in the Natasha palette, but I feel like I wanted to amp it up a bit and I think that blue is stunning. Oh my god, I made a change. Okay, so the blue that we were using that was from JD Glow, I replaced it with a Terra Moons blue instead because I forgot we had this blue and this blue actually works much better. So this is Terra Moons Into the Ocean and this is replacing Electric. So here's the replacement Terra Moon shade, which I think matches way better. It's a deeper, more ocean blue. Yeah, I think that matches the color story a lot better. I'm gonna continue the swatches with the JD Glow Blue included, but I'm gonna replace it with the Terra Moons option when I show you the final swatches. Then we have Grin, which is vintage gold. For that, we are using Carrot from Cleona Cosmetics. I really wasn't interested in getting a gold in this palette but it's fine it will do 
So this one is like an old gold instead of the bright yellow gold that they use. I'm taking creative liberties here. So moving on, we have Canon, which is a vibrant bronze. This one, we're using Cleona Cosmetics again, and this is chocolate orange, which I actually think is pretty spot on. Like, look at that. This is such a good warm bronze, and I think that works. All right, moving on, we have Flip which is an electric medium teal. For that one, we have Marine Waters from Sydney Grace. This one came in the clutch and it's so gorgeous. So stunning. It's definitely leaning on the greeny side, just like the swatch here, so love that. Next up is Fun to Mine, which is an aqua pastel blue. For that one, we're using an Inglot shade. This is 367 and it's a matte aqua blue. This one was a little bit tricky too. I have aqua blues that lean a little bit more aqua or a little bit more green. This one, I it really needed to be a matte sky blue looking shade. And I think that works. Last row we have Spiral, which is a metallic orange. So we're using Sydney Grace Orange Slush. This one was kind of easy for me. Like once I saw the shade in the palette, I was like, I know exactly which one I'm using. So perfect. Magic is a vibrant blue purple. And we're using Royal from Terra Moon Cosmetics for this one. This one also came in in the clutch. This is a matte dark purple. This one was tricky because I don't really have matte purples like that that I use, but I really feel like that is spot on. Next up is Aerialist, another troublesome one. This is the Frosty Pastel Lavender. For this one, we're using another Sydney Gray shade. This is Troops, and this does not look lavender in the pan. It's such an interesting color. It's like a shimmery, pinky lavender golden shade it's not spot on it's not as light as the natasha one but i think it works and again a troublesome shade to find one that works but i i really like this shade then we have act which is a deep vibrant violet and again another sydney gray shade this is flannel this is such a perfect shimmery purple it's so good all right so bam look at that that is such a good purple all right, and we're finishing up with Joker, which is a vibrant pink. And we're actually gonna go with a ColourPop shade. Look at my hands, oh my God. So this is Sandbar from ColourPop, which is a beautiful, bright pink. And this I also think is spot on perfect. Oh my God. So, ooh, these swatches are wonky. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so here's a side-by-side -side of my palette versus the Natasha Denona Circle Loco palette. And I think, <laughs> I think, okay, pat me on the back, I think I got pretty close to it. And here are the swatches. And here are my swatches, which I think, excuse me, I think I did a pretty good job. Let's see, what do you guys think? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna pop it up on the screen so you can see my swatches next to the Natasha Denona palette. I think I did a pretty good job. I think it is pretty spot on. And I am glad that I switched out the blue because I think the Terra Moon's blue matches a lot better. I am so happy with how this turned out, guys. Let me know what you think. Alright guys, what do you think of the color story? It is going to be a surprise to me as much as it is a surprise to you because I don't know what I'm going to come up with. I am thinking it's fun, right? Is it colorful? Is it bold? Is it fun? Do you guys like it? Oh my god, <laughs> I don't even know what's happening, but I'm excited to go ahead and build it now. But hopefully this video was fun for you guys. You found it entertaining, you found it inspiring. And again, if you want to see me create looks from this palette that I created, then let me know and I can go ahead and do that for you guys. But enough yapping, I'm gonna leave all the shadows listed down below so you can check them out in case you're interested. And I will leave links if I have them as well so you can pick them up at your leisure. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter 
where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys Thank <laughs> you.